What's going on, everybody? Today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. I'll try to remember to start doing that at the beginning of these videos. I know a lot of guys like when I give the date. So what we have here, we have a couple service calls today. One of them I went on last night and diagnosed it, or I, yeah, it was it was pretty late last night. Uh, it was getting dark, so, and they, him and his uh, lady wanted to sleep on it overnight. It's an old comfort maker, an old round comfort maker. It was before they were even called ICP. It's back when they were called Inner City Products, and uh, it, the unit really needs to be replaced. And I mean, it the, the, the condenser coil is just in horrible condition. Well, after discussing that, go ahead, buddy, with your loud self. After discussing that with him and his lady, they they said that it probably wasn't in the budget, but give them a night to sleep on it and talk about it. Got a phone call back today, and they said it's just now's just not the time. They said the unit was cooling. They said they know it's in bad shape. And they also said that the, before the fan motor went out, that it was cooling fantastic. But they do know it needs to be replaced. But for right now, they're going to have to do a fan motor. Hey, I can understand that. You know, it is what it is. I mean, you know, sometimes the money's just not there. So that's what we're going to go do right now. Hopefully, I can get some film on it. He tends to kind of like to watch what I'm doing. And then after that, we have another no cooling call that I haven't been to yet. I was recommended by another customer and he just says that the unit's just not cooling well. So we're gonna go see about both of these and hopefully we can take y'all along for at least one, maybe uh, both of them. We'll see what happens. All right, gentlemen, here she is. You can see. You can see the shape it's in. It's beat up. But we're going to do what we can for him. All right. I got the old motor and blade behind my truck because that's not coming off. It's just not going to happen. So I'm going to show you all another reason why this motor failed uh, prematurely. I mean, well, not prematurely, I mean, but the motor ain't that damn old is the point I'm trying to make. This is the part of the motor that faces down, downward. See the drain plug? Right there. The drain plug was never removed. So this thing's probably full of moisture. So we're gonna go get a new blade. So we'll have a new blade and a new motor. All right, I got it running. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but it's running. Looks like we're gonna need some refrigerant. All right. All right, I got it from 50 to 65, or 60, between 60 and 65. And I'm gonna leave it right there. Just using the old uh, analogs, not worried about superheat subcool on this thing. The inside is older than this. You can call me a hack if you want to. I really don't care. All right, guys, so we got him fixed up. Uh, did the best job we could with that old unit, man. That, that top was rocking, man, but fastened it down the best I could for him. And it, I mean, I, it was cooling. It was cooling damn good when I left. But, uh, now we are headed over to another no cooling call. This one I do not know the symptom already. Uh, it was it was scheduled earlier this week for today uh, in the afternoon. So we are headed that way to go see what he's got and hopefully we can uh, get you guys some footage on that one too. All right guys, so Main issue with this one is he had a very dirty filter. The suction pressure is on point, but the head pressure's not. So I'm gonna blow some water through this coil. 
clean it up for him. See if we can drop that head pressure down. pushing right on through. It's old. It needs to be replaced. Definitely dropped. Let's see if it stays that way. I'll show y'all something while we're waiting. I'm gonna show you what one of our local guys here does. This is a temp star unit. Now, he's got his sticker on this unit and I'm not gonna show it. I'm gonna cover it with my hand. So as y'all can see, we have a two-ton. Now let me find it. Damn it. Here we go. What does that say right there? R410A. Let me show you what they do. Cover his name. Look. R407C. So basically what they do is they buy these units, they drop them, weld them, dump all the 410 out, and load it up, cover his name again, with 407C. So, <laughs> can't wait to see the comments. Okay, so suction pressure went back to where it was. We did drop the head pressure 50 pounds. We were running a 300 pound head pressure. We're now running a 250. That, that's a su uh, success for me. I mean, that's 50 pounds. This is an old unit that needs to be replaced. He had a dirty air filter. I took it out, put a clean one. And uh, just check the temperatures with the with the UEI DTH35, and we have a 16 to 17 degree split, and you can definitely feel that it's cooling in the house now. So I'm going to call this one good. Uh, just needed a washing and a new filter. Yeah, you can see it's had plenty of time to dry out, and. Uh, yeah, we're at 250, well below 300. So, that's good. All right, guys. I'm done with that one. And uh, as you saw, you know, I, I really, like I said, man, the I knew the suction pressure was good. And I knew it wasn't a refrigerant issue when I put the gauges on it. And then uh, the dirty air filter, I mean, this thing was blocked. As soon as I pulled that out, it probably made a difference. But went ahead and went outside and checked things out. And uh, Kenicha call was a little dirty. Washed it real good. And as you saw, we dropped the head pressure by about 50 pounds. Believe it or not, that makes a bigger difference than you think. And all I know is, you know, when I went in there to give them the bill and, that you know, they were talking to me. And uh, you could 
you could feel the difference. You could tell it was definitely cooling very well. And they're happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.